All right, so there was a plane crash in the Micronesian Islands. If you guys are wondering what's going on, is everyone okay? The, you're seeing some of the news and everything that they've reported on it, you're wondering if that's a reliable source. I am a source here on the island, and although I was not actually able to get out there and get video in time, it was on the complete opposite side of the island. Traffic was terrible as soon as the situation happened. I do, however, have a lot of information and some insider information from the actual event. I have a bunch of different stories, and I kept on asking and asking and asking different people until I got to people that were firsthand at the event, which was the Navy. Some of the, some of the stories I got was the accident and the plane crashing into the ocean happened on takeoff. Other people t said it happened on landing. To me, it made more, a lot more sense that it happened on landing, and that is what happened when I finally narrowed it down. I just want to let you guys know that every single person on the Chuuk SDA school campus where I am working, we're all safe. All of our, our, our guests, we actually had guests that were about to get on a plane. They are fine. They are okay. They're back here on campus. Their flight has been delayed until tomorrow night, so they're going to be with us for another day, but they're safe. So everyone is safe, and actually, to add to that, there were no deaths, all survivors, but a lot of injuries. So what exactly happened? Well, on landing, this was Air New Guinea, and they were landing, and we actually don't fully know. But this is what I've heard from a couple of Navy guys, people that were firsthand. They were out there on a ship, and they saw the entire thing happen. The, the uh, plane was coming in. There's a couple pictures I'm going to be showing you guys uh, from the news that um, kind of explain this because I actually wasn't able to get out there and get any pictures. And by the time our guests actually were able to get out there, all it was was the cockpit of the plane sticking out of the water, and the rest of the plane had entirely sunk down into the ocean. So, as I said, we don't fully know what happened. The thing that makes the most sense since it landed, the plane actually l flew in and didn't make it to the runway. So the thing that makes the most sense is that somehow it ran out of power. It wasn't exactly, it doesn't seem like it was a pilot error at all. It seems like it would have been a mechanical error or something wrong with the plane, lost power, something happened. And the thing that makes the most sense is that the pilot was gliding, and you can glide for a long ways on those planes. You can, you can coast down, fly down, so either... He, he ran out of power, he was gliding, and he was trying to make it to the runway, and at the last second he realized he couldn't, because the plane actually landed into the water right before it would have hit all the rocks and the beginning of the runway, because it wasn't going to make the runway, and then actually the current moved it and had it facing the other way from the direction that it was going. So when you see the pictures, they're deceiving. The plane didn't overshoot the runway, it undershot the runway. So... There's uh, a couple more black boxes that need to be recovered. Apparently, that's what I've heard from the Navy. They're going to send some divers down there. They're actually going to be sending in uh, a team. Uh, Papua New Guinea is two and a half hours away, and they're going to be sending a diving team down there to salvage the plane, to recover any black boxes that were missed. But we also have, I think, a Navy diving team that's going to be working on it immediately as soon as they possibly can, get down there so we can figure out exactly the communication and everything that happened between the tower and the pilot, all that stuff, figure out the actual story and figure out exactly what happened. But this is a really sad event, but it's also really a blessing that that plane didn't crash somewhere farther out in the ocean. If it crashed farther out in the ocean, our very low Navy presence and military presence wouldn't have been able to get out there and act on it quick enough. Also, all like the majority of the people were actually saved by local boats. They were all local boats moved in. Everyone was pouring out of the plane, getting out in the water, getting away from the sinking plane, and all kinds of local people came out there with their boats. And so I just really like to thank all of you locals who just jumped in. Like you guys acted so quickly. All of the injured people uh, and, and patients, they're all headed up to the hospital, so the hospital's completely decked out right now. There were some broken bones, some bruises, um, a lot of head injuries uh, on impact, but no deaths. All survivors, including the pilot, so there will probably be some more stuff figured out from there. If you guys really want any other information or want to look at more pictures than the couple that I showed you from the news, there's going to be tons more coming up on the news, but I just wanted you to get an insider view not just some journalist or someone that was on the island at the time that captured some video, but 
uh, someone who actually lives here on the island for this year and uh, who understands a little bit and talk to people because I talk to tons of different people while on the outside of town as far as I can get into town in order to figure out what I know now. And so we're all safe. The people are all safe. And I'm really proud of the way that like the island reacted. We don't have many resources. It doesn't even seem like there's an emergency team other than police and just the locals. They just worked together, teamed up, got their boats out there as quickly as possible, got the people away. So it seems like a really bad situation, but really this situation, there was not really a better way this could have ended, this could have happened. This was one of the best things, best case scenarios, and I'm really, I'm really happy that everyone's okay and nothing extremely bad happened. The situation's going to be t terrible for the company. Uh, it's going to be terrible for business. It's going to be terrible for, like as far as how much it's going to cost. That's a lot of documents. That's a lot of clothes. That's a lot of different personal belongings that everyone has that they just lost. So it's going to be a lot of covering for hotel costs and other things that they're going to have to take out. But again, this is kind of why I have a big passion and I really want to get into aircraft mechanics and that's something I want to go into because there's certain places and I'm not saying it's a mechanic team but it could have been a mechanical thing that could have been seen f uh, further ahead or it could have just been an accident that couldn't really be seen ahead either way we don't really know if it was pilot air or power slash mechanical air right now but I'll be getting you as much information in the future as I can and just keeping you guys updated but we are okay and that is the blessing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing Friday. Please leave your likes and comments down below. Comment, ask questions if you want to know anything. If there's any other questions that you do have, leave them down below in the comment section. I'm going to be sure to answer them. So they're always, they're always wanted. Also, if you want more information or anything, go to the news or hit up, click one of the links to my Facebook or whatever, my Facebook page, and shoot me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks so much. You guys have a great weekend. This is how you deceive.